Hi, welcome back to the Power of Model Drawing once again. Now we are going to look at fractions and uh, this time we are going to look at fractions with remainder. And again, we are going to drop down the model if we cannot cut into number of boxes. Alright, let's look at the first example and, uh, and let's see what you mean by fractions with remainder. Now, I spend one fifth of my money. So if you notice carefully, this fraction, I spend one fifth of my money. So the first fraction refers to my money. And what do I do with my money? I spend on the back. So this fraction is referring to part of a group. What is the group? My money. Right? My money is the group. All right? And what happened to this money? I, I spend some of the money. Right? So my money has five boxes. Out of these five boxes, out of this group, I spend one box on the back. So that's the arrow pointing. So this fraction refers to part of a group or fraction of a set. And I spend one quarter of the remainder. Ah, now you see that the second fraction refers to the remainder. So again, uh, the remainder has four boxes. And what happened to this remainder? You took out one box and you spend on the blouse. So this fraction refers to part of a group as well. Uh, but are the two fractions referring to the same group or the same thing? Uh, the first fraction refers to my money. The second fraction refers to the leftover, the remainder. So they are not referring to the same group. So you cannot make the denominator the same. All right. Okay. Then what happened later? I had ninety dollars left. So how much money did I have at first? Okay. So once you understand uh, what are these fractions, then you are able to draw the model. So let's look at the first sentence again. And my money has how many boxes? There are five boxes of my money. So you draw a rectangle that represents the money, cut into five boxes, and you spend one box on a bag. All right, and you draw until here. And then I spend one quarter of the remainder. So where is the remainder? Now the remainder is always found on the right side. Can you see the right side of the model? So whatever that you have spent earlier on, the leftover is called the remainder. Okay, and the remainder has four boxes. If you look at the fraction, so you look at the model also, uh, do you see four boxes as well? Yes, there are four boxes in the model. So what happened to this remainder? You spend one box on a blouse. Okay, so you can see that uh, the model has something called the remainder, which is on the right side, right? On the right side, after you spend some of the money, the remainder is the right side or the leftover of the model okay all right then I had $90 left which means that the rest of the remainder must be the left and that is $90 left okay and you're drawn until here all right so how much money did I have at first so your question mark is to find the whole rectangle so once you have drawn the model nothing else to draw then you call every box one unit and you can now solve the problem by looking at the model so if you notice carefully, how many units are left? There are three units of money left, which is $90. So can you find how much is one unit? So you take 90 and then you divide by three. So your one unit is $30. So how many units is all my money? So you count the boxes. There are five units of my money. So you have $30 and then you times five and you get $150. So how much is all my money at first, which is $150. All right. So the first question is a quite a simple exam example to draw the model. So what did we learn so far? Now we look at fractions and then if there are more than one fraction, you have to think about whether are they referring to the same group. Uh, but if you see the remainder, if you see this word, the remainder, ah, then you know that most likely, the two fractions are not referring to the same group. So you cannot make the denominator the same. All right. Okay, now let's look at example number two. And you have five over eight of the animals in the farm are ducks. So this fraction refers to part of a group. What does that mean? It means that the denominator has refers to all the animals, which has eight boxes. Out of this group of animals, five boxes are ducks. So part of a group. Okay. And then two over nine of the remaining animals. So the remaining animals is also the remainder. So the remaining animals has nine boxes. And out of this group, all right, it means from this group, in this group, you have 
two boxes which are chickens, so and are part of a group as well. So the two fractions are part of a group, all right? But are they referring to the same group? No. The first fraction refers to all the animals. The second fraction refers to the remainder, the remaining animals. So they are different groups. So you cannot make the denominator the same. All right, now the rest of the animals are cows, and there are 48 more ducks than cows in the farm. So how many animals are there in the farm altogether? Okay, so now we can try to draw the model. All right, you look at the first fraction, and uh, you have five over eight. What is eight? What is five? Eight refers to all the animals in the farm. So you draw a rectangle and cut into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And five boxes of the animals are ducks, so you label. Okay, so you draw until here. All right, where is the remainder? Now, the remainder is on the right side. Okay, the right side. Uh, and how many boxes do you see on the right side? You can see that the remainder on the right side has three boxes. All right, then you look at the second fraction. Two over nine of the remaining animals. Oh, so the remaining animals have nine boxes, or you call it the remainder. So can you cut the, the model, which is three boxes, which is over here, the three boxes, can you cut it into nine, nine boxes? Now, if you can cut, there's no need to drop down, all right? You only drop down the model when you cannot cut into so many boxes. All right, so let's cut into three, here three, and three. So I can cut. And then when you cut into three boxes each, make sure you also do the same for the rest of the model. So every box here will be three boxes each and using dotted lines so that you can still see the original boxes. All right, and then what happened to the remainder? Two boxes of the remainder are chickens. So you label chickens. All right, and the rest are cows. So where are the rest? The rest will be here. The rest are cows, okay? So you draw until here already. So when you draw the model, there's no solving. You are just drawing out sentence by sentence. But the only way to draw out the model is to be able to understand the fraction, able to recognize what, are the, what the fractions are all about. Okay, now there are 48 more ducks than cows. So can you put 48 inside the model? If you can't, then you don't put the number inside. So you have actually drawn until here. How many animals are there all together? So I can put my question mark below, right? Or I can put my question mark on top. So you just choose where you want to put a, put a question mark. All right, and then you can solve the problem because your model is done. All right, there are many boxes. So I don't want to indicate one unit into all the boxes because there are too many. So I will just keep it empty, but just keep in mind that every box is a unit, okay? All right, so now you look carefully. How many units are counts? So you count the boxes slowly. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units are counts. All right, so maybe I can put down over here. Seven units are counts. And then there are two units chickens. And then how many units are ducks? So you count three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. So there are 15 units of ducks. Okay, and if you add them all together, you will have uh, how many? You will have actually 24 units of animals at the farm. Okay, so it's quite straightforward, right? Okay, now, now we're going to make some comparison. There are 48 more ducks than cows. So where are the ducks? The ducks are here. So you have 15, more, 15 units of ducks. And how many cows? There are 7 units of cows. So how many more ducks than cows? You minus, there are eight units more ducks than cows. And the eight units is also equal to 48. So your one unit will be 48 divided by eight and six. Okay, so how many animals are there in the farm altogether? Which is 24 units. So 24 times six, and you will get 144 animals at the farm. All right. So you can see that, uh, well, it's actually quite easy, right? Not quite hard to draw fractions problem. So you, all you have to do is just be able to interpret the fractions correctly. And then after that, you just use the fractions to draw out the model. All right, now let's go to practice problem and I'll give you about 10 minutes 
to draw out the sentence and then see whether you can get the answer. So your time starts now. All right, so have you managed to work out the answer? Now, two over seven of the fruits at a store are apples. So this fraction is referring to part of a group. What does that mean? It means the fruits have seven boxes out of this group you have two boxes apples right and then you look at the second fraction three quarter of the remaining fruits or the remainder they are pairs so the second fraction is also referring to part of a group right which is uh, this fraction is referring to what the remaining fruits and what happened now it means that the remaining fruits has four boxes right four boxes and three out of the four are pairs so part of a group okay now, the rest are oranges, and there are 150 more apples than oranges. So how many pairs are there? Okay, now, are these two fractions referring to the same group? No, they are referring to different things, right? The first fraction is referring to the fruits, and the second fraction is referring to the remainder. So they are different. So you do not make the denominator the same. All right, then let's draw out the model. So let's look at the first sentence. Now, 2 over 7 of the fruits. So you draw a rectangle to represent the fruits and you cut into seven. Four, five, six, seven. And two boxes of them are apples and they're drawn until here. Okay? All right. Now, where is the remainder? Now, the remainder is on the right side of your model, which is how many boxes that you see? You can see that there are five boxes in the remainder. All right. And you look at the second fraction three quarter of the remaining fruits so which means that the remainder has four boxes so are you able to cut the model which is the remainder into four you can't right so if you can't then that's when we drop down the model so when do you drop down the model when you cannot cut into boxes all right so you have then you can now cut into four boxes already once you drop down all right and then what do you what happened to the remainder three quarter or three out of four are pairs so you label and then you have drawn until here and the rest are oranges so the remaining box must be your oranges okay now there are 150 more apples than oranges so can we put the 150 more inside the model we can't so we don't put it inside so let's continue to draw the next sentence how many pairs are there so your question mark is to find the pairs and yeah you have done the drawing right you have drawn out the whole problem already okay so what do we do next now you look at the model and remember whatever you drop down they are the same the uh, the one above means the, the remainder on top and you drop down the same remainder below they are the same so what do you do you have to cut them or make them to have the equal number of units so you have five on top five boxes on top in the remainder four boxes below and what do you do you just put five 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 and five all right so you have 20 right 20 units in the remainder then on top you put four units each and now you can see that you also have 20 so whatever that you drop down you have to make them equal right make the number equal number of boxes equal so on top you have 20 boxes now all right 20 units which is the remainder and below is also the same remainder also 20 units so that is what you need to do when you drop down the model you try to make the number of boxes the same all right now if you cut every box into four units don't forget over here you have to cut into four units as well all right so now you continue to look at the model and what do you see now can you see that uh, there are 150 more apples than oranges so let's compare the apples with the oranges apples have eight units okay so let's put eight units and pears have 15 units okay let's put 15 units and the oranges have five units all right so how many more apples than oranges that will be eight units minus five units so you have three units more apples than oranges and three units more is also 150 more so your one unit will be 150 and then divide by three so your one unit is 50 
Okay, so the purpose of all model drawing, right, all kinds of model drawing is to always try to get one unit. And once you can find one unit, you can actually solve the problem. So how many pairs are there, which is 15, right, 15 units. So if there are 15 units, then there will be 50, which is one unit, and then you times 15, and you will get 750 pairs. All right, and you have solved the problem. Okay. All right, so what have we done so far? Now, we have learned to look at fractions with remainder, and, uh, and then we learn how to draw out the remainder all right, in the model. And if we are unable to cut the remainder into so many boxes, then we actually drop down the remainder, and then we can cut. Right, once you drop down the remainder, you can cut the remainder into whatever boxes you want. Okay, now, and also we also, also learned that the fractions, if they do not refer to the same group, like for example, if you see uh, there's a remainder fraction, or the fraction refers to a remainder, and they don't refer to the same group, uh, we don't make the denominator the same. All right. So, so at the end of the lesson, I hope that you have a better understanding of how to work with fractions, and then how to use the fractions to draw out the model. Okay. So stay tuned for the next lesson, and uh, and we will continue on our model drawing. All right. So have a great weekend.